it's me. Haven't been on in a while. Um, work's been hectic. Um, I've somewhat been stabilized. I'm trying to find my husband's phone. Um, I've been somewhat stabilized, which is a good thing. Um, still have to do my weekly treatments every Wednesday, like clockwork. I see my PA this Wednesday. Um, but I don't know if I went over with what I, f I think I did with Facebook, but I don't know with, um, YouTube. Either way, I did some research on Wednesday while I was waiting for my injection or <clears throat> for my blood work to come back and then wait to talk to my PA to see what dose they want on my injection. Well, my injection, we did the same dose and... My nurse came over to me and she asked, she was like, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it. I'm like, okay, what's my number? It was like six, six, it was in the 600s, which means I'm at, um, critical, like I need to worry if something happens for blood clots and that kind of thing. Sorry, flies were coming in. The dogs didn't want to go out. So, um, so I'm in the 600,000. So I got my injection, the 210, my low dose. Um, cause they know if I don't get my injection at all, I will crash. It's just a matter of how fast. Um, so they have to give me something to make it to the following week. Um, but I was thinking what my nurse said, like, what, what have you done? What have you changed since all this? And she didn't want to know, but I sat there and thought about it because sometimes the pharmacy takes a while to get um, things ready because they're really busy. And plus, she had to talk to my um, PA. Um, so I looked up endorphins. Um, I looked up adrenaline rush. I looked up basically tattoos and platelets. And then from there, it started talking about um, the adrenaline, the endorphins, the high you get, kind of like getting on roller coasters, um, the adrenaline junkies, that kind of thing. I've always kind of been like that, but I put two and two together when I came home. Well, actually, after I came home, I already put it together while I was there waiting, and then I came home and I talked to Chan, and I was like, well, you remember when you met me? I used to bruise really easily, even before I met you. I told you about that, and you realized that I do did bruise easily, you know, like stupid things. I'm clumsy. I run into things a lot. Well, we seriously think that I've had ITP for who knows how long. But I went through a bankruptcy in 2011. Um, got diagnosed 2012, lost the house in 2012. So I was put on, and I was, the bruises started coming more and more because the stress level got higher and higher because of all the stuff was going on. Um, so I was hurting because I was getting bruises everywhere. And I, my regular, um, family physician, I just... I know him personally, so I just asked him, like, what can I, just take some ibuprofen, you know, you know, but he didn't, he didn't, you know, see me. If he would have saw me, he'd be like, yeah, we need to do some blood work, something going on. Um, so, honestly, I've been with Chan for 19 years, and I honestly think he has actually kept me alive, because when I did the research about um, the adrenaline that you get when you get tattooed, what I get when I get tattooed, um, same thing as you go on roller coasters. You get this adrenaline high, you get this rush, and your body doesn't know what to do, so it's it's like, yeah, I get this adrenaline, it's like fighting, everything starts getting more active, including your platelets. Come to find out, um, 
people can get, you know, they have the EpiPens, you can get adrenaline. Kind of like the people that overdose, they shoot it like right into the heart or whatever. <coughs> you can get um, adrenaline infusions or shots and that kind of thing. And none of my doctors or nurses know anything about my tattoo work yet. My newer stuff that we have been trying to get done and finish um, before really showing anybody personally. I want it healed and everything just because of my condition. I don't want a chance of picking up something. Somebody didn't wash their hand, you know, cough on it, whatever. Either way. But I honestly think Chan's been keeping me alive all these years from getting work done because when he was in tattoo studios, I would get these phone calls 10, 11 o'clock at night. You know, it's Friday night, Saturday night, whatever. At that point, I didn't care because I was sick and I was, I didn't, I hardly slept. Either way, he would call me and he'd be down at his, the place he worked down in Douglasville. So I'm like, all right, it took me about 45 minutes an hour to get down there. Either way, as soon as I got that phone call, I was already on my adrenaline high. And my high did not end until I got home from after getting tattooed and went to bed. And this went on for years. I met Chan in 99. Um, we moved in together at the end of 99. Um, August, September-ish, we moved in together. And... September, yeah, somewhere around there. But literally, at the end of 99, he was already getting his apprenticeship going and that kind of thing. And he already did some, like, a, some work on me already. So, pretty much since I started, I'm the one that kind of pushed him into tattooing. I did art when I was in school. He was a uh, drama, um... He was in the drama club. I was, I took art because I didn't fucking want to do anything else. I was like, I just, I went to two years of summer school just to get out of high school early. Yet again, I don't want to be doing something I don't want to do. So art was like, I'm a senior. It's free for all. It's like, you know what? This is your last class. Do whatever the hell you want. So after his apprenticeship and all that, you know, so before I got diagnosed, it was probably about a year since I've been worked on. So you got to think it's been a year of any type of adrenaline rush, any type of adrenaline high, other than like um, emergencies at work, that kind of thing. That's a different type of high. That's a, that's a, um, I guess you can say it's kind of like with, um, just like with a nurse or EMT, that kind of thing. You zone out, you know what you need to do, and you get it done. Those people understand what I'm talking about. Um, just like in the animal field, emergency situation, you, I only have one person that I can go to at my work for an emergency situation that we two can think together and we can get this done. Um, and then we'll, you know, whatever. <clears throat> That's still an adrenaline high too, but it's a different type. Um, so I did the research and I read articles and articles and all these things were popping up from 03, 2008, 2013 about adrenaline and platelets and how your body processes the adrenaline and when you get that adrenaline high, rather what it is. Um, mine is from getting tattooed because like yet again, I, I don't get that adrenaline high. I do when I emergency situations at work, but it's like in and out real quick. It's not like a, um, four hour session of getting worked on high. It's like in and out. But I thought that was very interesting that it could be that simple, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to give my hopes up or anything, but I will definitely keep doing what we're, we have been doing because we want to get this, I want to start what I finished. And I have a lot of stuff that I wanted to get done. And by God, I'm going to do it because 
a nuke could be dropped tomorrow and we can all be dead. So, I mean, like I said, none of my nurses or anything know about any of my new work. And I'm not going to show... I mean, my coworkers know about my new work just because they can hear the saran wrap at work because I am very, 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 very particular on how I take care of it, especially now that I'm um, immune deficiency. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to hopefully keep doing what I'm doing, you know, and this hopefully be, be a good thing, you know. It definitely, last night, definitely drew oh, the inside of your arm. Holy moly. I still got to get his hat done. Either way, but he looks good. But I'm out, and I will talk to y'all folks later. Y'all have a good rest of the weekend.